Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to draw text in the isometric view plane. This is going to be a pretty quick and easy video. It's actually not too difficult, but you have to know where to look. So with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, if you liked the video or found it helpful, give it a like down below. Please consider subscribing to the channel. This kind of gives me an accurate gauge of how well the content's doing and if you guys like it. There's a couple links down below if you want to support the channel, and if you want to see anything done, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so as you can see here, we have a cube, and we're going to start by just being in the isometric view, and we want to label each side of the cube. So we want to look at the left side, the right side, and the top. To do this, we're going to start by coming up to the text box up here, and you can either type in text or you can click the single line button. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to just, the first thing it's going to ask is the size of the text, and we're going to eyeball it. And the next thing it's going to ask is the rotation angle of the text. So typically, in a normal AutoCAD drawing, it's going to be zero, and it's going to give you this text that looks just flat, we'll call it. It's not isometric, it's not angled, it's just flat. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that's angled up and isometric to the cube that it's labeled. So to do that, we're going to come up here and we're going to type in single line text again. We're going to come over here, just eyeball it. And instead of zero, we want to type in 30 degrees. Once we type in 30 for the rotation angle, we'll click enter. And then we're just going to type in right. Now, as you can see, and we're going to center this down just a little bit, as you can see, it is angled properly, but it is not isometric. It still doesn't look like it fits in with the square. It doesn't look like it's stuck to the side of the square. So to change this, we're going to left-hand click on right, and then we are going to right-hand click to get this properties box to show up. We're going to click on properties, and then as you can see here, this text properties box shows up. Next thing we're going to want to do is scroll down just a little bit, and underneath the text portion, we're going to go to the obliquing. Click on the obliquing to um, just allow yourself to type something in there. And then we're going to type in 30. We're going to click enter. And as you can see, the text of right changed to an isometric view. Now it truly looks like it's stuck on the right side. Now we're going to do that on the left side here too. And the first thing we're going to do is just do the same thing, go up to the text box, single line, and we're going to just eyeball it. And instead of 30 degrees, we're going to type in negative 30, or you can also type in 330. We're going to click enter again, and as you can see here, we're going to type in left, Oop. escape, we're going to center it, but it is not necessarily isometric looking. It's not stuck to the side. So to change that, we're going to do the same thing we did with the right. Left click to select it, then go left, right click to properties. We're going to scroll down here to obliquing. And instead, we're going to type in negative 30 or 330. And as you can see, it is now isometric to the cube. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to do for the top. And for the top, we're going to come up here. And we're still going to do negative 30. We're going to go top, type that in. Now we're going to select it. Go to properties. But instead of negative 30 degrees, we want to go to the obliquing and just put in 30. We're going to click enter. And as you can see, now we're going to close the text box. The top of the cube is isometric to the cube itself. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful and concise and it wasn't too short or too long. I know I had a little bit of an issue when I first started doing the isometric text. So don't be afraid to rewatch the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, leave it a like down below and subscribe to the channel as well. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.